is Tuesday, so you know what that means. Another episode of Tourist Tuesday. Uh, This week we're visiting Big Brutus, a giant roadside oddity that is located in our little corner of the state. Let's go check it out. In the late 1800s and early 1900s, coal and zinc mining had become a huge industry in far southeastern Kansas, with many European immigrants working as miners there. In the 1960s and 70s, mining was simplified though with the use of Big Brutus, a 16-story tall, 11 million ton black and orange electric coal shovel. It was designed and built by Bucyrus Erie for the Pittsburgh and Midway, or P&M, Coal Mining Company, and is the only one of its kind ever built. Big Brutus was built near Hallowell, Kansas, in Cherokee County, costing $6 million. It took 150 railroad cars to bring in all the parts to assemble it. Big Brutus was operated by a three-man crew, supported by a group of electricians and roller operators. It ran 24 hours a day, seven days a week, from 1963 through 1974 at the whopping speed of .22 miles per hour, moving only about one square mile per year. The huge shovel didn't actually dig the coal itself, though. It removed dirt and rocks covering the coal seams, and with one big scoop could fill three railroad cars. Afterward, huge coal strippers moved in to remove the coal after Big Brutus exposed it. Uh, Big Brutus dug out of its last pit at approximately six hundred fifty six at approximately 65 feet deep in April 1974 and was put out of operation. Some say it worked too hard and used too much electricity to run. Its operations electric bill in its final month of service was a staggering $27,000. In 1984, P&M deemed Big Brutus to be used as a museum in dedication to the coal industry of our area. Today near West Mineral, you can tour inside and out of Big Brutus and even sit in the operator's seat and see the levers and dials that once moved this giant. You climb five stories to to explore the innards of this beastly machine. A museum building nearby also tells the story of Big Brutus and the mining heritage of southeast Kansas. Pictures don't do this monstrosity justice. I encourage you to go out and check it out, and I'll see you next week for a new episode.